I, I think we learn a lot from looking uh, back on where we've come to understand where we're going. And this article does a great job of tying in where marketing, marketing automation was and showing where it, where it's going. So I don't know. Does my virtual assistant, John, have the article so people can see what it looks like in case they search for it? It's called Five Ways Marketing Automation is Evolving uh, Towards 2020. So there's the article right there. Uh, so if you're looking for it, you can find it. Let's talk a little bit about what the article is looking at here. Um, it, the first point that it makes is the nature of marketing automation is evolving. Uh, marketing automation for a long time, it's been kind of trigger based or rule based and Hey, if a person clicks on this and downloads this, then they get this message. And if a person opens this message, then they get the next message. And if they buy, then they get this marketing automation is going far beyond if then types of messaging. Um, right now, marketing autom automation is becoming increasingly predictive. And marketing automation isn't just emails. If you've ever been in a store, right, and you're looking at your Facebook, and all of a sudden there's an ad for that store that pops up in your timeline, that's marketing automation. It's starting to predict, hey, if this person is in this store and they're on their social media, there's a good chance we might be able to market something to them right now that they're interested in. Um, it's very predictive. It's getting way, way beyond just being able to send emails based on your reactions and starting to predict what you're going to do before you do it. So I find that really interesting. Um, people expect brands to know them and deliver the right knowledge via personalized messages and interactions. But here's the important part at the right time. That's the thing that makes marketing automation effective. It gets the message to you when you predict it or when you expect it. So Gardner research has predicted that by 2020, Customers will manage 85% of their relationships without talking to a human. So within the next two years, 85% of the relationships in your life are going to be managed without a human being. And that's talking about store interactions, online interactions. So it's getting increasingly important for the computer interaction to feel human. We're never going to be able to replace human interaction all the way. It's got to have a human feel to it. But that's why marketing automation is becoming predictive, less responsive, and uh, and understanding who the customer is. Again, back to persona research, knowing the customer in order to get, get them the right messages. Number two, the scope of marketing uh, automation is evolving. Again, when marketing automation became a thing, it was more about lead generation, maybe some lead nurturing, um, some conversion. You know, you might want to throw that in there. Now, it, it is far more than that at this point. You want to be able to track and measure outcomes. Um, your marketing automation um, needs to be, again, predictive before it happens. It's not just about getting messages out after you've had this experience with somebody. It's not just about the basics anymore. It's really evolving into something that's much more in tune with the customer experience more than it used to be. And then the structure of the platforms is evolving. I think this is an interesting too. Marketing automation used to be just one suite that you could use. Uh, you'd use one suite for this type of automation, one, you know, one for your internet. You might use one for your social media. You would use one for, um, you know, blogging or whatever. You had different packets for these suites of software. Now you're finding platforms that, that just can cover all of those things for you. One piece of software that covers all of your automation. And now there's even clouds, right, where you can put different software patterns, pull them down from the cloud and create different platforms that are really tailored to what you're doing. So marketing automation has become more than just these one-off suites of software. It's really something that encompasses everything that you do. They're out there. But it's also got to be, uh, it's also got to integrate. You need to be able to integrate your CRMs, your CDPs, your DMPs. They need to be integrated with your marketing automation as well because now data and tracking is more important than ever. If you're going to be predictive, you've got to have data that enables you to go out and make some decisions before your customer is responding. So you've got to be able to integrate everything together. There's marketing automation suites out there right now that are doing a great job of getting everything tied into one platform so you don't have to go all over the place to handle your automation. And then the integrations themselves are evolving. Um, you know, one thing that's important is connecting the dots between the data and the analytics and, and the software that you have. And this current generation of MA is accomplishing just that. The, the integrations are evolving themselves. Marketing innovation is continuing to build a full spectrum of engagement functionality. So it's not just about, again, it's not just about the initial email journeys, 
It's not just about the initial uh, messaging that you're getting out to the customer. It's this whole lifetime journey of a customer. And then they're also, um, it's shifting, the focus of marketing and automation is shifting from a campaign-based mentality to this customer journey in totality so that they get, they get messaging across their entire journey with you. So it's becoming less about just driving them to do one particular action or just about accomplishing one particular set of actions with your company to being really integrating all the data and information so that you can be in touch with your consumer from point A to point B without just focusing on one little sidetrack journey that they have along the way. But in order to make the marketing automation software better and the experience better, the marketers have to know that they have to evolve as well. Uh, there's user-friendly interfaces now where you can get more in tune with your data. There's about to be built-in assistants and bots that you can incorporate into what you're doing so that the customer feels like they're getting that human experience. Marketers have to be able to embrace these changes so that they can go out and touch the customers at the right point. Um, like they said, most of the time from now on, you're not going to be interacting with a human. So if you're not on board with the new technology, with the bots that are out there, with the AI experience that's out there, you will get left behind. Your marketing automation will not be affected. Um, I love this quote. Marketers can't keep playing catch up with the technology. You have to be there with it. You have to rise with it. You have to know what's going on with marketing automation and incorporate, in, incorporate it into your strategies so that that way you're always on the cusp of what's coming by 2020. There's not going to be much human interaction left, so you better get ready to get on board with the new marketing automation strategies. So there's a lot to know about marketing automation. Read the article by MarTech. I thought it was great. I thought they made a lot of great points. And study marketing automation. See how it can help your company. You don't have to be a huge company to take advantage of marketing automation. Small businesses are understanding that you don't have time to do a lot of interaction with your customers. You know, you've got to get new customers. You've got a business to run. You've got books to manage, all of that. Companies like ours, Company 119, are here to take all of the marketing part off of your plate. With marketing automation, you don't have to be a one-stop shop anymore. There's a lot that can be done behind the scenes so that you're not constantly worrying about marketing and you can focus on other aspects of your business. So look at that. You just learned more about marketing automation trends that will hit us by 2020 before you finish your first cup of coffee than your competition will all day. Have a great day. I look forward to talking to you again.